All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this uh, M-Audio Axiom Air 25 in PreSonus Studio One. All right, what we're gonna do first is we wanna go over to uh, the Studio One options, go down to options. We want to um, go to external devices and we want to add a device. So we're going to add a device. Um, manufacturer, we're going to do M Audio. This is device name, so we're going to do Axiom. Let's do Air 25. Device driver should already be installed, so we're just going to do select Axiom Air 25 MIDI in. You receive from the SIN 2, we're going to do the same thing Axiom Air 25 MIDI out. I'm going to click OK on that. That should add our device. So now we want to click OK here. Um, if I do something, see that I have access to keys. No transport. So to set the transport up, uh, your fader and the rest of these knobs, what we want to do is we want to go over to our devices, external devices here. Uh, then we're going to go to Axiom Air 25 and we're going to do a edit. This should pull this screen up. With our devices and then what we want to do is we want to do a MIDI learn. The MIDI learn will allow us now to add the buttons we need to add. Right click on we want to do turn on and off. Button on off. Normally go back and then uh, label them. So this is going to be loop. So we have rewind. Fast forward. Stop. Play. Record. Now right now they're just labeled. What we then need to do is to give them assignments. So you just right click on it, assign control or assign command. Um, for this is loop, so we're just going to go loop. Uh, what we actually want to look for um, is toggle loop. play we want to look for start record okay so now we can go turn that MIDI learn off I see that I have access to the keys now if I want to do a play, I can do play, fast forward is working, stop is working, rewind, toggle loop, on and off, you see it down here, so that's good. Now we want to do our fader and our knobs, so same thing, we'll uh, let's bring this back to the beginning. 
going to do a MIDI learn again. You should see the master fader come up. We want to do our knobs. this we can take we want to turn this to a fader and now there's no assignment here for these you'll see it's just a fader we want to transmit <clears throat> the value same thing with these guys they're going to stay on knob transmit value Now, for instance, if I want to take this fader, you can see it moving here, but it's not assigned to anything. So let's say if I want this to be my master fader, I can come over here to my master fader now and do an assign, and it's going to assign it to that control. So now I can control that. And the same thing with the knob. You go to what you want to assign it to. If I want to assign it to, let's just say I want to assign it to this shaker. I can assign it to that same thing. You should be able to assign it to whatever you want. Now. That's it.